Hey guys, what's up? My name's Katie. Welcome to my channel. This is my first video. Uh, for my first video, I decided to do a do-it-yourself shelf because I actually get a lot of questions about my decor and like how I've done it. I have a dresser in my room currently at my apartment and I actually bought it off Facebook Marketplace for like 60 bucks, but then I took like Annie Paint Sloan and pretty much like made it like farmhouse chic, I guess you could say. Um, so I thought it'd be cool to kind of do the shelf the same way and then you guys can kind of learn how I did it because I get tons of questions about it. But also just a little bit about myself. I'm 24 years old. I currently live in Boston and I actually grew up here too. And I'm at my parents' house currently. There's tons of bugs and if you can hear like saws, they're doing work on their house. You can see here. So it's coming together, but I'm also on my cell phone because I forgot my camera. <laughs> so, oh, actually you can see, oh no, yeah, there it is, there's the shelf. So I'll show you guys what I've done so far. Complete side note, but I just got these sneakers from DSW, they're ASICs and they're so comfortable. My boyfriend Pat actually picked them out and I absolutely love them. I have another pair of ASICs, I'm sure if you know me, you know the ones I'm talking about. They're like super colorful. They're pretty much like every color of the rainbow on them and they're just pretty beat up so I got those. But anyways, so here is the shelf so far. So what I've done is I took this Annie Sloan chalk paint and it's in duck egg, which is like this really pretty light blue color. You can't really tell from here, but it's super pretty and it's gonna match my rug. So I'm gonna do this first and then I'm actually gonna go over with the white. So it's just pure white. So you go over it after this dries and then you're gonna all, then after that you're gonna do a wax and then after the wax, once that dries, then you sandpaper it down, but I'll show you guys that one once I get there. But yeah, this is it so far. So I'm about to paint the white over and then I'll check back in. All right guys, I'm back. I know you can't see my head, but I have the white paint. So this is the pure white. And I'm gonna go over the duck egg color now. So I just do one really like light coat because it makes it easier to sand it after we wax it. So I'll show you this in just a sec. So what's gonna happen is after we wax it, and then sand it. The duck egg color is gonna peek through, so it'll be almost like a white and duck egg color. So it's super cool and it's like super chic and you get that like farmhouse vibe, which I love. I'll show you guys my bedroom later when I'm hanging this up. I'm gonna have my boyfriend help me <laughs> so you guys can meet him. But here, I'll show you guys what I... Alright, so you can see the duck egg colors underneath. And then the white is on top. Oh, my shadow. But it's very faint. So I'm going to finish doing this. And then I'm going to wax it. Gotta stay hydrated though. You know? Okay, I'm here with my mom. Hello. <laughs> Her name's Susan. And... I wanted to bring her on because I wanted her to talk about how she found the Annie Sloan paint and how she kind of came to do it. So, all you. Thank you. <laughs> so, Katie had a dresser and a bed that was old and I was trying to figure out what to do with it. And I was searching online and found that you could paint over varnish any type of furniture. You didn't have to strip it and use this Annie Sloan paint. So I did a little research and I went on Pinterest and I found that you could layer the paint and do all sorts of things. 
And so I researched where you could find the Annie Sloan paint and only certain um, like Stores, retailers right? yeah, can carry the paint, but you have to be certified to be able to offer this Annie Sloan paint. So I found this um, place up in North Reading. It's called Versante and uh, they have all these different colors of paint. If you go on and, and research Annie Sloan paint, there's some pretty cool techniques on how you can layer multiple colors of paint to come up with, you know, this kind of country, French country look. Yeah, it's like uh, a farmhouse. Farmhouse, type of chic, right. Kind of farmhouse. That's what I was saying. Chic, right. Yeah. And so for the bedroom set, we went with the, um, I went with like the duck egg blue underneath, which is kind of like that yeah, really which, cool. Yeah, which I did on this shelf. Yep. And then I did an old white on tops so that it kind of looked more like uh, French country. Mm -hmm. And then you, you layer uh, a coat of wax on there and then you start to take off some of the uh, paint with sandpaper. And what happens is you get a little bit of the wood, a little bit of the green, blue, which is the duck egg blue. It's so cool. And it looks really neat. Yeah. And it's an old piece of furniture that has a new look. Yeah, and it looks like rustic and awesome. It's good. Yeah. It's good. So you can't buy the Annie Sloan paint at like a Sherman Williams. You can't, but there's a lot of I didn't know that. a lot of chalk paint out there. I just like the brand. Um, I, I I don't know if you can buy it on Amazon, but it'd be worth yeah. checking out. Um, but they do offer lots of different colors. It's it's easy to paint on. I mean, you do it with this brush, and you don't have to be. Yeah very minimal yeah I feel like. yeah and you you don't have to be like a professional painter I mean you yeah. can just put it on there and it covers good and you should the dresser upstairs too right yep and the wax paint I mean the wax that goes over the paint what you can do with that once you put the wax on is when you put the second layer on you can polish it up I like to use a sock yeah <laughs> I need to go get a sock in my house <laughs> um, and when you do that you get a little bit of sheen and it protects the paint yeah. underneath. Yeah, you definitely need to put that on. And it's good to put a piece of glass over it if it's like a dresser, which is what you did in my room. Right, just right. to protect it. Yeah. But um, it's it's kind of cool for like an old piece of furniture that just needs a new little facelift. Yeah. And that's what I'm doing all over the house. <laughs> Repurposing. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks right. for coming. Yeah. Love you. Love you. All right, I wanted to show you guys what my mom was talking about. So this is the dresser that she did for the first time and she did this oh my gosh I think like five or six seven years ago and it still looks like amazing um but yeah here's what it looks like so like she was saying she did the duck egg underneath and then the white and then she sanded it down and then the handles are just the duck egg color and then she had a piece of glass put on put on the top so that there wouldn't be any like marks from glasses and all that. And this is my old bedroom. So yeah, super cool and she's super creative and that's always been my inspiration is to be like her. All right guys, I'm back and I just finished waxing. So I took my sock and this brush, it says wax sign. I think it's a little uh, gone and paired up, but I think it says wax line, so you take a wax line brush, like my mom was saying, and you use the chalk paint wax clear, and you don't even need that much. You can see it, we've had, I think, only this one, so we've done tons of projects with it. And then you swirl it around, and then you just want to go like circular motions, like so, and then after again like my mom was saying you just take a sock super easy and then you just kind of buff it out so I just did that on the whole shelf and now I'm gonna wait she said about like 10 to 15 minutes so I'm gonna wait and then it'll be the almost final steps I'm gonna start uh, sandpapering which is the most exciting all right I am in the middle of sanding and it looks really good so far so I wanted to say I picked up these faster sanders from I think either Lowe's or Home Depot 
and I just got the medium grit and I think it's actually like the perfect amount of grit because you still need to put like a little muscle into it but it adds like the perfect um, like streak I guess you could say but I also this is like a new thing I'm wearing a sock on the other hand while I sand so then I can just wipe away the like dust made from the paint but here is the result so far and I wanted to say too you really do have to put like a little muscle in so don't be afraid and you can make it however streaky or non-streaky you want it to be it's really up to you but this is what I got so far all right so you can see now that the white's on top and then the duck egg is like peeking through and even like a little bit of the wood. So it's super chic, super farm country like my mom was saying. And it just looks really good. So I'll show you guys the final product once I'm putting it up in my room. Hey guys, I'm back. So it's now Monday and I actually started this project on Sunday. But I didn't get to put this shelf up last night because I was going to have my boyfriend help me and he actually had a lacrosse game last night. So he was super tired and I felt bad. I didn't want to make him do it. So I'm going to attempt to do it by myself, which honestly, like, good luck to me because last time I tried to do this, I ended up putting a bajillion, like, holes in the wall because you needed, I needed to find, like, a stud and... I don't know, my house was like super old and it was honestly like a process and then the shelf was crooked and things were like falling off of it. So, I'm crossing my fingers. <laughs> um, but I wanted to say too, I'll show you what this dresser looks like. My camera is actually currently propped up on it. And I'll show you around my room. This is my new t-shirt I actually got. It has like all the different flags of the Rolling Stones with their signature lips thing. Side note. Um, but yeah, I'm going to insert a clip of me trying to attempt to put this up, but if it if it fails, then I'll insert a picture after of my boyfriend doing it. <laughs> he said he could do it on Wednesday, but I'm obviously like impatient and I just want it up now. <laughs> so I'm going to do it. I got it. Right? All right, don't mind my dresser, it's a little messy. There's a stud finder. Ugh, wish me luck. Okay, so this is my dresser that I made, same thing with the Annie Sloan paint, except this time I just did a gray. I can't remember the name of the gray, but I just did gray over, and then you can see I sanded in the white, or sorry, not the white, the, um, brown from the original color came through so i didn't do two colors i just did one because i wanted it to kind of look more rustic-y but yeah this is the rest of my room um it's a little messy i just got home from work so a little small but it's super homey and super cozy and let's see here is this shelf so this is the finished product up close so it's super chic, super French country, like my mom was saying. These are all the signs that I want to put up. So I'll show you guys once I'm done, if it <laughs> if it stays. But I want to put the shelf right here. As you can see, I have like some things hanging, but half of these things down here, they can't be like hung with command strips. So I was like, I just want to put a shelf up. You feel? Yeah. Then this is my TV. And then I have a little mirror over here with some lights on it. This is the shirt I was talking about. And these are like my absolute favorite jeans. They're mom jeans from Target and they're the recyclable materials ones. So yeah. These are also fake Birkenstocks. $20 TJ Maxx. Get it? But yeah, so now I'm going to attempt to put this baby up. Wish me luck. All right, here it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, I was recording it at first, but then it was like super stressing me out that it was taking me so long. And then I also had a little hiccup with one of the screws. Um, it definitely needed one of 
these clear things. I forget what they're called. I uh, honestly forget. But I didn't want to have to use that, so I just moved the screw over. It honestly doesn't look terrible. And the shelf is actually pretty much even. You can see, hold on. So this is it. It looks pretty good. Yeah, my one little hiccup was like right here, if you can see it. Yeah, it's not terrible. I can always plaster over it. But yeah, it's pretty dead even almost. So close, but I mean, it's okay. I'm okay with it. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna style it. Well, not style it, put my, put my stuff up and then I'll show you for the last time and then that'll be it.